हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक दिस इज शिवभद्रा सिंह फ्रॉम हाजिया इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ फार्मास्यूटिकल एजुकेशन एंड रिसर्च एंड टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट वन मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक फ्रॉम मेडिसिनल केमिस्ट्री दैट इज स्ट्रक्चर एक्टिविटी रिलेशनशिप दैट इज स्ट्रक्चर एक्टिविटी रिलेशनशिप विच इज नोन एज एस ए आर इन शॉर्ट In this video lecture we will try to understand the basic concept of structure activity relationship on the basis of drug design design So let's start with drug design Drug design is nothing but it is optimizing the interaction of drug with its target that is the receptor and once the lead compound has been discovered it can be used as the starting point for drug design so the question arises what is a lead compound in drug discovery it is a it is a chemical compound that has by that has biological activity likely to be therapeutically useful but may still have some unwanted parts in the structure that requires modification or we can say that it have some structural parts structural parts which cannot fit better to the receptor in that case what we should do we should try to modify the structure through structure activity relationship so that it becomes fit to attach to the receptor there are various aims in the drug design the drug should have a good selectivity for its target target means the receptor the drug should have a good level of activity for its target each and every drug and produce biological activity so the drug must produce good level of activity and good selectivity for the receptor the drug should have minimum side effect this is a very important point important point the drug should be easily synthesized means if we can choose a drug structure which have very good biological activity but it Uh, should not be synthesized by any process then it have any means the drug is only important when it can be easily synthesized the drug should be chemically stable means it should not be degraded with passing of time the drug should have acceptable pharmacokinetic acceptable pharmacokinetic properties and the drug should be non toxic in nature there are two important aspects in the drug design and the drug strategies to improve the first one is the pharmacodynamics prop it is to optimize the interaction of the drug with its target as i have already discussed that if we get a suitable lead but require some modifications then we modify the structure through so that it becomes fit to attach to the receptor the next is pharmacokinetics property it is to improve the drug's ability to reach its target and to have acceptable lifetime because the drug in the body can pass through various barriers to reach to the target like plasma membrane and all so the drug must have a good ADME properties ADME means absorption distribution metabolism and excretion both pharmacodynamics and pharmacokinetics should have equal priority in influencing the biological action of the drug so we have to think carefully that which strategies are used and which are 
synthesized to get a better drug with a minimum side effect. One by one, we can go for detail of pharmacodynamic and pharmacokinetic properties. The first one, the first one, drug optimization by optimizing drug target interaction or the pharmacodynamic property. Drug optimization aims to maximize the interaction of a drug with its target binding site in order to improve activity, selectivity and to minimize the side effects. Designing a drug that can be synthesized efficiently and cheaply is another priority. The aim of the drug optimized achieved by different strategies or approaches on the lead compound structure activity relationship such as number one variation of substituents means we can vary substituents from alkyl and aromatic substitutions point number two extension of a structure by chain extension or contraction ring extension or contraction etc the third is ring variation ring variation for example we can variate ring from aromatic to heterocyclic the fourth one is ring fusion we can obtain ring fusion of two aromatic rings or two heterocyclic rings fifth one is isosteres and bisteres exchange sixth is simplification of the structure means we can simplify the complicated structure of the drug by removing different groups seventh is the rigidification of the structure means we can rigidify the structure we can decrease the flexibility of the structure so that it can be fit in the receptor eighth one is conformational blockers means we can choose various conformational isomers for the activity The second one is the drug optimization by optimizing access to the target means pharmacokinetic properties. The compound with the best binding interaction is not necessarily the best drug to be used in medicine. Many barriers to reach its target in the body. There are many ways to make the drug to reach its target such as linking the drug to polymers or antibodies or encapsulating it within a polymeric carrier. Thus, the aim is to design drugs that will be absorbed into the blood supply that is absorption and will reach their target efficiently known as distribution and be stable enough to survive the journey in the body that is metabolism and will be and will be eliminated in a reasonable period of time also known as elimination so a drug must have a good ADME that is absorption distribution metabolism and elimination property in other words designing a drug with optimum pharmacokinetics can be achieved by different strategies So, these are the different pharmacodynamic and pharmacokinetic strategies which we opt to design a drug. Now, coming to the steps in structure activity relationship. What are the steps? Once the structure of a lead compound is known, the medicinal chemist moves on to study its structure activity. The aim is to discover which part of the molecule are important to biological activity and which are not. X-ray crystallography and NMR are the analytical tools which can be used to study and identify 
binding interactions between drug and the active site a structure activity relationship is synthesizing compound where one particular functional group of the molecule is removed or altered in this way it is possible to find it is possible to find out which groups are essential and which are not for biological effect this involves testing all analogs for biological activity and comparing with the original compound or we can say that comparing it with the if an analog shows a significant higher or lower activity then the group that has been modified must be important for us it may be possible to modify some lead compounds directly to the required to the required analogs so in this video lecture we have understand the basic concepts of the drug design how by using pharmacodynamics and pharmacokinetics strategies we can